Hello everyone and welcome to Games, Comics and Crafts. In this video I'll be looking at TMNT Usagi Ojimbo Where When Number 2. So this is the second issue, um, a little late on the review on this, uh, hopefully I'll be a bit quicker with the third issue. I got the incredibly lovely wraparound cover which I think is absolutely spectacular. Um, this issue again is as good as the others, or the other Usagi Ojimbo issues and the first issue. There is a lot of talk in this one, but it sets what's actually going on. We see the turtles fight the and a eventual meeting with Usagi. Who actually the turtles tell him exactly what's been going on, how they're there. Not quite sure because they mentioned it go in the time travel thing. I don't mention anything about dimensional travel, but maybe that will come to fruition later on. Um, they're being observed by the bad guy and uh he's in a giant samurai robot so that's pretty cool um now apparently the bad guy arrived in usagi's world about 25 years ago or so 20 years ago so and this is supposed to be 15 years in the future so technically speaking we've got a little bit of overlap there i would love it if stan sakai started drawing in the little bad guy in the background of some of the panels for future issues of Usagi and Jimbo just observing Usagi because that would be really cool if you just little little easter eggs just hidden away um, so we get a little bit of what's going on in the uh, in uh, why is Jim Usagi and what's going on with his war, uh, war and all this kind of stuff again lots of chat but interesting chat and informative chat not just random stuff um, the bad guy has a whole series of ninja, which are moles, which are different than the bats we normally see, and has decided to build a giant uh, army of uh, samurai robots that are apparently are going to start doing some uh, attack in the next few uh, weeks or so. Um, now, when I first reviewed the other issue, I speculated that the turtles may be in their early career and the sag is obviously in his future career. Now in here we see the turtles mention Namazu, the last Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, crossover. Now, the way they talk about it, it doesn't mean that that was the last time they were here. It was just the last time an earthquake happened. So I'm not too sure exactly if this means that this, there's gonna be a, you know, in continuity wise, there's a massive gap between the turtles last being here and now, or if it's just happened to be the last time we see a Earthquake is the last time they'll be able to an area now. Anyway, not that it matters. It doesn't ruin the uh, fun of the storyline. It's still as cool as ever. Um, I I love these versions of the turtles. These are really cool versions of the turtles. They're, you know, they're not quite Eastern and Laird, you know, grittiness and nastiness, but they're still pretty cool. And they've got the colour headbands we've seen before rather than all the red and that kind of stuff. But that's fine. That doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, so mole men are here. They're going to do some attacking. We see that obviously the next issue we're going to see the turtles and the other... Uh, characters face off against those and hopefully we could probably get a little bit more information about why they're there and not being a time travel thing i'm not too sure but again a good, another good issue um ah, more collections from idw of the original turtle stuff well worth it team Mutant ninja turtles with street far very strange uh but uh yeah all in all a, another great addition to the book uh book series um Issue 3 is out in the next couple of weeks, I believe, um, with shipping in the UK being delayed on the side EW titles. So once that is here, I should be looking at that. But um, yeah, I recommend again, keep keep uh, picking up Usagi stuff. It's never never disappointing. 35 years I've been buying Usagi, it's always been good. And this is just as cool as it ever has been. And yeah, we've added turtles as well. So that's fantastic. So uh, thanks for listening, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.